Hello everyone, welcome back to Abodery. Today I'm really excited to bring you along with me on the process of creating an autumn and winter capsule wardrobe for each of my two oldest children. We're just coming into a new season now, it's very much autumn and the weather is getting colder and both of my oldest children are also coming up to their birthdays so it's the perfect time to refresh their wardrobes and make sure they've got everything they need for the new season. As with everything, I'm trying to buy secondhand, make use of hand-me-downs, and shop sustainably. And I might also make some pieces, so keep your eyes peeled for future videos. So what I'm going to do before I do anything else is go on to Vinted and do some secondhand shopping to try and fill in those gaps of things that they still need. Now when I'm shopping on Vinted, I'm often looking for certain colours because I'd like everything to kind of vaguely match, and also my kids are quite picky about the colours they will wear, sadly it's not all um, kind of beiges and muted colours like I would like, they love bright colours, so I'm going to look for things that I know that they're going to wear. I'm also going to look for things that I know that they can get on and off themselves. They both pretty much dress independently these days, this is my older two kids, the youngest doesn't yet dress himself sadly but the older two certainly do and also they take themselves to the toilet so I'd like to make sure that everything is easy for them to get on and off and allows them to be independent through their day. So I'm going to record my screen while I'm looking through Vinted and show you some of the things I'm finding along the way and hopefully um, you'll be able to see what I'm looking for and pick up some tips along the way of how I like to search on Vinted to find really good things. Now for boys at least it can often be really hard to find nice secondhand things for older boys. It tends to be a lot of like um, gaming merchandise or character based things like superheroes. I don't have anything against those things but in our house we like to keep that stuff off of our clothing. Um, I do make an exception for pants and pyjamas just because they feel like they're kind of a bit more hidden but generally speaking um, I like to choose clothing that doesn't have like those big logos or um, franchising on um, and that really narrows the choice particularly for older boys. So I'm going to show you how I try and like filter out some of that stuff. Um, it may be that we don't find anything though, and that is the luck of the draw with secondhand shopping. Um, hopefully it will just give you a realistic experience and show you what it's actually like for me when I'm shopping on Vinted. So I'm going to open up Vinted now and pop the screen recording hopefully on the screen so you can follow along as we do it. So you can see here what my Vinted home screen looks like. And I'm going to start off by searching for some bits and pieces for my little boy. So um, if you don't already know, you can actually kind of look at everything for a certain category of clothing on Vinted. I'm going to start off by just putting trousers in just for a second and then the filters up along the top are super important and probably the most helpful thing that you can do. So I'm going to start by filtering by size, kids and he is, well he's going to be seven, up to seven years now. So show results for that. Um, and then you can also sort by colour, so Clem really likes to wear green, and I like green as well, so we'll choose green. And now I can actually just delete this text and hit search, and it will give me everything green in size <laughs> up to seven years, which is kind of crazy, it's a lot of stuff. Um, we could even filter by category, so we'll go into kids and then boys clothing. Obviously clothing doesn't have to be gendered all the time, but people have to sort it into boys or girls on Vinted, so if you're going to narrow it down then it probably makes sense to um, choose boy or girl, depending on who you're searching for. So I'm going to search for Clem, I'm going to start with um, just looking at everything, so I'll hit all, and then we'll have a little scroll, and might need to time lapse this because it could take me a while to scroll through everything, and I'll come back when i found something useful or good. As I'm going through, if I find something that I really like then I will just hit heart on it and then I can go back later into my favourites and sort through everything that I've liked so far and choose what I'd actually like to buy. This one is quite nice, I think. I'm going to look at it closer up. What does it say on the front? Let's grow and explore together, that's quite cute. It's from Primark originally, so it's probably not great fabric. I don't know what it's made of, but I'm going to hit heart for now just because 
I might come back to it later. This one is really cute, but I fear will be too summery. I'm trying to look for autumn and winter, so I'm going to leave that one behind. This is very cute, this little button-up jacket. Clem would love that, especially because it looks an awful lot like one that my husband has, and he really likes to be like his dad. So I'm going to like that one as well. One thing I do sometimes do is I will like a whole load of things and then I'll actually show them to the kids and I'll just show them things that I've already liked and then they can choose from um, the selection that I've made. And that's a really good way to get them on board with what they're going to be wearing. They feel really invested and it's, I know that it's stuff that they're going to like and they're going to want to wear. Because honestly, if you've ever tried to convince a kid to wear something that they don't want to wear, it is painful. <laughs> so it's better if you get them on board beforehand and they're invested and they love what they've chosen. This is really lovely as well, Nordic style jumper, and Clem will really like that because it's lots of different colours, so this feels like the intersection between things that I like and things that he likes, and hopefully he'll go for it, so I'm going to favourite that one as well. He'll also really like this because he loves anything to do with space, it's got a few little stains on it, but again, I think we'll just favourite it to make sure. Now this account, this seller looks, it's called Pre-Loved Bambini, it looks like it might have more clothes, so some sellers on Vinted have, a, like they, their businesses and they sell lots of secondhand clothes, and this is a really nice brand, Little Green Radicals, so I'm going to actually go into this seller's um, page and see if they've got more, and it looks like they do actually, which is really good, so I'm just going to scroll through and see if there's anything else that will fit him. Here's another one which again he will really like, so I'm going to like that as well. And it's always good if you can find multiple things from one seller because then you're only paying one lot of postage for a big bundle of clothes. So if I find an account that I think is going to have more things that I'll like, then I'll go in and, and like a whole load from them and then hopefully get a bundle. I've got some really cute things for little girls as well, but they're going to be too small for my girl and no more girls for us probably so I've got to hold off buying little little girl clothes those salt water sandals are very lovely but honestly I don't need them so I'm going to leave those behind this cardigan is very cute and now I'm getting distracted <laughs> as I'm scrolling through I'm actually seeing some things that my little girl might like as well so I'm, I'm going to favourite some of those so that I can come back to them later This is really lovely, this gingham check shirt, though it says it's size 6 years, which might be too small, so yeah, it says it's age 5 to 6, which means it will be the size too small, which is a shame because it's really lovely. <laughs> this is a really good account, so if you're looking for sellers on vintage, you might want to check this one out, There's some really lovely things. So now I'm going to go back out of that account and scroll through the rest of the selection. I'll go for a little bit longer and then I might do a search by brand instead just to speed things on a bit. So one thing that I'm always looking out for in Vinted is where a certain seller has lots of different things that I need so that I can just get a big bundle of clothes and pay one lot of postage and this here is an excellent example of that. So it's a set of four t-shirts in one um, bundle and they are all t-shirts that Clem would wear. They're nice colours and they're going to go with everything he has. So this is almost a no-brainer. I'm going to hit like on it just for now um, and keep scrolling. So one way that you can search is by colour, which is what we've been doing here, but another way you can search is by brand. So if there's a particular brand that you know that you really like um, and that you're likely to find lots of things that you want to buy, then you can search by brand as well. So I'm going to do that now and I'm going to search for Pollon O. There it is. I never know how to say it. I think it's Pollon O Pirate. I mean it's Scandinavian so um, I'm probably butchering it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to clear the colour now because I'm not as fussed about the colour. And I'm going to have a little scroll through here for things that might be helpful for this year. He definitely needs some new waterproof trousers, so that's one thing I'm going to buy. It's obviously not as exciting for a video like this, um, but I'll be on the lookout for that. But then also, I really like their 
um, merino wool base layers so if I see any of those I'll buy those because they're great either as t-shirts in the autumn or layered up under other t-shirts during the winter. This is a really lovely blue striped top. Very warm for cold summer nights, she says. Clem loves anything red, so this red striped t-shirt is going to be right up his street and I actually quite like it as well, so I'm going to like that one as well. This flannel shirt, again, is really cute and I think Clem will really like that. So I'm going to hit like on that in case you'd like to have a look at it later. And we've come to the end of that brand. Another brand that I will always check is Dasana, because they have some really lovely things. Oh, nothing found. <laughs> Sad. In that case, I might change the size and actually have a quick look for my one to two year old. Although actually, it looks like there's not an awful lot. So in Dasana, it seems like there's these trousers for a four year old, a hat. But I don't think there's anything for 18 to 24 months, which is what I would need for Jessie. So that's a bit of a non-starter, which is a shame. Another thing that Vinted have recently introduced is that you can sort by material. And I find this is a really excellent way of filtering out anything that um, is poorly made. So you can choose fabrics that you know are higher quality, so like linen, cashmere, or wool, or... Um, organic cotton, although I don't think it lets you, no, it doesn't let you filter into organic cotton, um, but certainly it does linen, merino, that sort of thing. So I'm going to try choosing linen, merino, what else is on here that we could choose from? Tweed might be quite cute, wool, I'm going to add in viscose because sometimes that's quite, quite um, well made, alpaca, bamboo, and cashmere, why not? We probably won't find anything. I'm also going to choose corduroy because I find corduroy trousers really excellent for little boys because they're really hard wearing. So this has given us a lot of options. And again, I'm just going to filter back by size. So seven years. Okay, and then we'll have a little scroll through this. This is quite cute and Clem would really love this. Bright colours. The only problem is that he finds wool a little bit itchy, so he will refuse to wear anything that's itchy, so I think I might leave this one. Here's another Fair Isle style, jump, Fair, Fair Isle style jumper that Glenn would really like, and it looks like it's a really good mix of different fibres, so I'm going to hit like on that one as well. This is a really lovely cord jacket. I'm gonna add that to my favourites, although I suspect that Clem would be very interested because it's brown. <laughs> Here's another great set of trousers. So this is a big bundle of linen blend trousers and they all look really lovely actually. The only slight concern I have is that they might be more summery than wintry, but perhaps we could get them with a view to him wearing them in spring next year. I'm gonna hit favourite for now. This is a really lovely jacket as well. I feel like I've found a lot of jackets today. He doesn't need that many jackets. I'm gonna like that one as well. So as well as buying lots of second hand on Vinted, we also get given quite a lot of clothes, either from family or friends. And so as well as buying things second hand, I will also always sort through what we have existing and see if there's anything that we would like to keep and use. So I'm just sorting through that stuff now. In the end, none of the stuff that I bought from Vinted, I think, was the things that I showed you in the last clip. I actually waited too long <laughs> between saving all those favourites and going to buy them, but I did end up getting some really nice things, so I'll be able to show those to you in just a minute. So after sorting all of that, this is the little pile of boys clothes that I've been left with for Clem in size 6 to 7, which is what he is. And then over here, and significantly less neat, is Margot's pile. So there's dresses, tops, 
jumpers and trousers just over here. The pile of girl things is significantly larger, as is often the way. In fact, there's even a pile just off screen that is all the things that I've even rejected. <laughs> so um, I'm definitely going to need to do some culling. But before I start deciding what I'm going to need to fill in, I'm going to take you through everything that I've got on Vinted, start putting that in the drawers, and then fill in all the gaps from these piles of hand-me-downs that I've got lying around. So before I start putting everything into the drawers, I wanted to walk you through some of the things that I've bought on Vinted this season. I've tried to keep it as minimal as possible, so assuming that I'm going to wash it once a week, I really just buy maybe five or six t-shirts, for Margot a couple of dresses, four or five pairs of trousers, and then obviously underwear, which I'm not going to show you, <laughs> and a couple of pairs of pyjamas. There are still a couple of gaps that I know I'm going to need to fill, but I wanted to show you the majority of what I've got because I think it will give you an idea of how I kind of put together their wardrobes. For Margot, you will see a strong theme of pink going on. Basically, when I went through the process that I showed you earlier of favouriting lots of stuff on Vinted and then showing it to her, she chose the pink things and the flowery things. <laughs> so there's lots of pink, there's lots of flowers. Honestly, I don't really mind because I'm probably only going to have one girl and I'm happy to embrace the girliness. But yeah, just prepare yourself for lots of pink. <laughs> so first up is this sweet little sweatshirt with some frill around the top. Um, I can't remember how much everything was, but I will try and put little screenshots on the screen so that you can see um, how much everything was and kind of what it looked like on Vinted. Um, I will say, I'm very happy to buy kind of fast fashion brands for children on Vinted. So this is Florence and Fred, which is like the Tesco own brand clothing. I just think, um, especially if they're still cotton and not polyester, um, it's fine to buy these things secondhand because we're not supporting that like fast fashion machine. So yeah, um, not everything is kind of expensive brands. I like to mix and match. So you'll see there's some kind of slightly more high-end stuff, but most of it is kind of just high street brands and honestly fast fashion, but just bought secondhand. Then I got a little bundle of Next tops. These are jersey, but again, they've got the frilly bit and flowers, which she loves. Um, these are really sweet. I think they're pretty much brand new. They look like they've never been worn. So there's that flowery one, and then there's a little pink spotty one. So. Yeah, I think she'll love wearing those and she'll also find them comfortable. So Margot's really happy to wear um, slightly more uncomfortable dresses, but when it comes to t-shirts, she really loves jersey. She won't generally wear blouses. Um, so yeah, I try and go for stretchy jersey for tops. Having said that, <laughs> I did also get this little blouse, just a white cotton blouse, which I think is actually vintage. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, so that was, honestly, this is just something that I couldn't pass up, but I'm not totally sure that she'll wear it. So we'll have to wait and see. Next up for trousers was these little pink flowery ones. Again, love the theme. Um, these were originally from Primark. So again, just standard fast fashion brands, particularly for Margot, where I know that they're probably not gonna need to last multiple children. Um, I'll just tend to go for things that are nice but affordable. Then I got a another bundle of two things, so um, two pairs of pink leggings. Um, these still have the tags on, so that was quite a find. Um, so they were originally eight pounds, and I hope I got them for a bargain. I actually don't know how much I bought them for. <laughs> Hopefully it was less than eight pounds. So there's those. And then a pair of just pink jogging bottoms, again, just for days where she wants to be running around, up and down trees and that kind of thing, because she is really active actually. Um, these will come in really handy. Then I got a few dresses. She really loved this little one, which I think is really beautiful. This is originally from Two, which is just Sainsbury's own brand, but I think it is, um, yeah, it looks like it's just cotton um, and it's a really sweet little embroidered dress. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that she'll, she'll enjoy wearing that. Then I found a seller that was selling two dresses by a brand that I absolutely love on um, Instagram. It's a homemade, I think. I think she makes them all by hand, or if not, then um, they're like artisan made. The brand is called Max and Molly, and they make these beautiful kind of traditional style dresses. 
Margot was really taken with these. So there's this one, which is this really sweet kind of floral with a nice big um, kind of, what do you call that? What's it called? Broderie Anglaise um, collar. And then there was this one as well, which is just beautiful. This is linen. Um, and you can see, again, it's got this, this lovely embroidered detail at the top. These two dresses were on the pricier side, so I think I paid about £25 per dress. Um, but yeah, I think fully worth it, especially because I'm almost certain that she will wear them a lot, so we'll get our money's worth. Then, moving on to Clem, I bought a little bit more for Clem because I knew that we'd have less in the hand-me-downs um, pile for him. So here's what I got. First off, this lovely colour block t-shirt he really likes bright colours like I told you earlier so um yeah having this nice yellow will be really nice for him then I got this sweet little brown one which I honestly wasn't sure if he was going to go for this um but he was really keen in fact everything I showed him on Vinted he said yes to I don't know if it was just because it was novel or if he's genuinely cares less than he used to but I'm hoping that it wasn't just um him kind of tricking me <laughs> and that he actually will end up wearing this stuff so we'll see then there's this um really nice green t-shirt this is slightly too big probably i think it's a size eight but um i don't think it matters when stuff is slightly oversized so um yeah i'm pretty sure he'll enjoy wearing that it's got also more on the back so that's really lovely and then another one most of these are originally zara and i think zara kids clothes is some of the nicest um, stuff that you can buy that's kind of affordable so um, I'm always looking for Zara like I said I think I said that earlier <laughs> and then um, just two more t-shirts which are um, just plain colour block t-shirts so I think this one was originally from Sainsbury's and this one is H&M so again just very standard um, high street brands I will say actually I think as I'm going through this some of this was bought in charity shops as well so the next thing I'm about to show you is also a charity shop um, so yeah some of the prices won't come up on the screen but where I bought it on Vinted I'll pop it up and then you can see how much I'm spending. Just as an aside I did ask on Instagram like maybe a week ago if people are seeing that um, Vinted prices are going up or maybe secondhand clothing prices going up across the board because I found that as more and more people get into secondhand clothing, they are getting more expensive. And obviously there are lots of reasons why you would still buy secondhand, environmental being one of the main ones. But it is interesting that prices are going up, generally speaking. So yeah, I'd be really interested to know if you found the same and do leave a comment down below if you have found that. So the next thing I got was this sweet little shirt. I always like to have one or two shirts in there for Clem, just for days where he might want to be a little more smart maybe days where I want him to be a little more smart than just a few shirts. I've also got this sweet little blue one which was um, a charity shop find. Um, I really like this colour on Clem, it really suits him um, and it's really lovely. Next up was this one with the Eiffel Tower on. Clem loves the Eiffel Tower so um, I wanted to get this for him. I think it was probably a girl's t-shirt originally but I thought I can't see a reason why he wouldn't be able to wear it so I picked that one up for him. And then here is another shirt, which this is very him. He loves this kind of colour blocking where there's several different colours in one shirt. And I just love these colours together. I think they're really lovely. So yeah, this was definitely the kind of find where I thought this is going to be something that both he and I love pretty equally. So those are always the best. Then I picked up one jumper, um, which says positive vibes only. Very cute. Um, I'm probably going to have to pick up more jumpers. I hadn't quite realised that I'd gone a bit short on jumpers. Although there are one, two, three, four up here that are hand-me-downs. So actually, that might be fine. Um, so yeah, just the one. Finally, for Clem, I picked up two pairs of pyjamas, um, both of which are really sweet, so I wanted to show you them. So the first one is this lovely stretchy rib set in a kind of teal green. This was originally from... H&M. Um, I love this colour, it's really nice. And then I also got this lovely set from The Little White Company. I think this was slightly more pricey but I just couldn't um, pass it up and he really liked it as well. So yeah, I was really happy to find that. And I think that is everything. So I'm going to start populating the drawers and then I think I should be done for this season. One thing I haven't really talked about is kind of coats and shoes and hats and kind of outerwear. Um, and that's because I just tend to do them separately. So um, 
I will still buy most shoes on Vinted just because that's my favourite place to shop but I will occasionally also buy shoes brand new from sustainable brands. So I really love Kidly shoes for example, I've just received a few pairs of Kidly shoes which are really great. And then other brands like um, Angulus, I really love Eagle or e I suppose it's pronounced Egg, <laughs> Egg Wellies. Um, they basically I only ever buy that brand now because I know that I can trust them and they're really good quality. Um, and I also recently picked up a really lovely wool coat for Clem, which I showed in the last video that I did with um, where I went thrifting. So yeah. There are a few things floating about, but I will probably pick those up as we get more into the colder months because, to be honest, here it's still fairly mild in October. If you love secondhand shopping and you would like to see me doing more of it and sharing some of the things that I find, then you will love this playlist here, which is full of all of the videos that I have posted sharing my thrifting adventures. Otherwise, I will see you all next time.